Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video, man, and this time we're playing the yard. Now, I'm trying to help you guys out in this video. What I'm what I'm what I'm gonna tell you guys is how to win these 1v1 solo 1v1 games. If y'all know what I'm talking about, it means you're playing by your you're playing alone. You're not going there playing 3v3 with people. I'm talking to this video is for people that play 1v1, you know what I'm saying? The 1v1 with their character in the yard. And um, they go online and they try to win head to head. Now, this is what you guys got to worry about, right? First of all, what I, and I t trust me, it took me a while to get it because I told you guys I haven't played Madden in two years. So, what I had to understand was you gotta you gotta feel what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Pause. I get what I'm saying. Like when you play the yard, right? When you're playing one v one, right? What you don't want to do is get on the game. And let me give you guys an example. You don't want to get on the game and just. Oh, I'm gonna go to my character every time because I he's he got these X factors and whatnot. Trust me, I did the same thing when I got on the game and I went online. I tried to go to my character every time, right? Got picked off multiple times. Got pressure on my bro, like because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to have some fun. I'm trying to get my character going and whatnot. I'm trying to have some fun. But what you guys gotta understand is it's not gonna work like that. And by the way, EA, why didn't you make it to where? Um, in the yard to where like how 2k had it in the old gym. They would give us two other players Why don't you just do that for the yard? It would have been better because now all people gonna do is just double team my, my player every time But anyways, let me show you guys what you got to worry about right? Let me show you guys what you got to do. Okay, so when you're going into the yard, right? You what you don't want to, on defense what you don't want to do is you don't want to give them the open field is right here You see what I'm playing? I'm playing a deep zone, but y'all see all of this green grass he got to work with This is something that you don't want to do you don't want to give. You don't want to have them with all of the green grass. You see how he's able to get all of these yards because I'm playing deep zone on the first play. You don't want to do that, right? And I'm again. I'm gonna show you guys again. When you play back into the zone or, or the zone coverage or whatnot, you don't want to do it because you see all the green grass he got to work with. Look at this. And not to and not to um not to also put in there that. When you get into open fields with your player and he has moves, it can be deadly. You see what I'm saying? You see how he's able to move around and shake people like this, this, and that? You know what I'm saying? That's something that's going to happen when you play that zone. So what I realized is, bro, I got tired of that, right? I had to realize, and trust me, I lost multiple games until I had to actually figure out what I needed to do, right? Because I'm thinking if I if I send the, the, the pressure, somebody's going to be wide open, right, guys? No. When you send pressure in the yard, it's kind of like how it's kind of like how it is in head to head or or the mud draft or ultimate team, whatever you want to call it. It makes them uncomfortable. You see that right there? It's third and thirty-two, right? It makes them uncomfortable when you start sending that pressure. Now, I'm not saying do it every play, but that is a way of stopping them for, from getting whatever they want, right? Now he's gonna go deep. That's gonna be incomplete. Now we have fourth and thirty-two, right? Now again, you don't want to run. The, the blitz every play but if you see somebody that's trying to just get the short yardage you want to send pressure right because right here it's fourth and 32 he's got to make a pass now he's got to go he's got to throw the ball now i'm sending some heat now but you see all this green grass he got i don't think this is a deep zone he's going to throw this one that's going to be incomplete we're going to get possession right now when you're on offense I know, my people, y'all want to get the ball to y'all players. I get it. But that's what the opponent is thinking. The opponent is thinking like, okay, he's just going to go to his player every time. No. What you want to do on offense is you want to take what the defense gives you. So you see how he's he well, right here, he put me one-on-one. -on -one, so I took that possession catch easy, second and three, right? He put me one-on-one -on -one with Dalvin Cook. So I took that. That's easy. What, a pickup of, what, seven yards? So now i see that he's gonna be on his guys so now i'm saying okay i'm just gonna go to my guy right here right i'm gonna give my guy the short play right here i'm gonna cut up the field you see that cutback that's why you don't want to play that zone when you play that zone you give you give up too much space and i'm able to cut it and by the way my receiver he's uh, he's basically in my opinion obj 2.0 i mean this guy when i drop the highlights for this player y'all gonna see what i'm talking about but anyways i'm saying again it's not there i'm gonna take what he gonna give me you see what i'm saying i was looking for my guy but he wasn't there See, that's what they're expecting. They're expecting you guys to just go to your player instantly. That's why they double team him. And that's what I'm saying. You gotta take what the defense gives you guys. You gotta say, okay, if he gonna play back, I'm gonna just take. I'm gonna go go to Rams Raider or I'm gonna go to Dalvin Cook. You know what I'm saying? And right here, I take a shot to my guy. Thought that was a TD, literally. But then they said I didn't have my feet in. I thought that was a touchdown. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all thought that was a touchdown, right? I clearly thought that was true. For you. I thought that was a touchdown. So right here. Again, I'm going to run the same play because I feel like he's going to double-team my guy once again, which I believe he does on third and eight, right? 
and again, it's, and the things are going to happen. You guys are not going to be able to make every play. Sometimes you might have some mistakes, things like that. That's the whole part about playing the game and understanding how to beat the game. Right here, another possession catch, easy first down, right? And that's nothing. You guys don't always want to just press triangle when you throw your player the ball. Saying, well, I want him to march him, or I want him to, to just aggressive catch everything. No, you got to be smart in some of these plays because how the game, how Madden works right now is, again, see, Feehan, possession catch. See how the game, how, how Madden works now is the cheesiness is no, that get, that, that's out of the game. That's no longer in the game. You're not able to just sit there and cheese and just, oh, I'm going to throw the ball right here and he's going to make a play. Now, you got to be smart. That's what I'm saying. You can't just get on here and try to get your play. You see what I'm saying? Because that's what, that's what they expect you to do. You want to go through your progressions. And, I, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it like that because now people actually have to really make a decision. They can't just sit there and just run out the pocket and just cheese every play. They got to make a decision, right? The whole point is, when you're on offense, you want to take what the defense gives you. Especially if you're playing just by yourself with your character one-on-one -on -one online. Take what defense going to give you. Right here, again, you're going to match up with Dalvin Cook one-on-one. -on -one. That's too easy. You know what I'm saying? I thought he should have played the middle, but he didn't play the middle. Now my, my guy got the touchdown. Uh, going for the two. Again, they're expecting you. If you go for the two or three, they're going to play back. So guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to take what the defense is going to give us, right? Again, I'm trying to help you guys out because I see this happen a lot when I go in the yard. Everybody's always playing zone. I used to do the same thing. Everybody's playing back. Then they get torched. And the one we want. Now, right here, nobody was open, so I decided not to throw the ball. And the reason why I decided to throw the ball is because if, if you throw a pick, it gives him one point. So I decided I didn't want to give him no points. I didn't throw the ball again. We're going to play some deep zone again. I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. We're playing deep zone again. Right? See all of the green grass he has to work with? Do y'all see all of the green grass? I'm just trying to show you guys an example of why I don't like to play deep zone like that. Again, you see all of the green grass you got to work with? Everybody's playing back. That's why I said you don't want to you don't want to really want to just run deep zone like that. You don't want to even play you don't want you want to send pressure every time. The whole point on defense is you want to make your opponent uncomfortable. When he when you're playing deep zone or too deep zone, now nah, he's too comfortable. He's just gonna keep doing that little short stuff. When you send that pressure, he gotta make a decision. It's second and thirteen, right? I'm sending pressure. I got. I'm sending. I'm sending him on that blitz right there, right? For some reason, Lamb wasn't able to make the tackle. So CD missed the tackle, but we still got the tackle, right? So now it's third and three. So again, like I said, it's not going to work every time, but most of them, most of the time, it's going to work, right? Now you might have some occasions to where uh, they have uh, Kyler Murray um, just leaving that guy open, but nine times out of ten. You, you can easily click on and send him over there because people don't try to don't try to get you quick on that If they have Kyler Murray sitting there watching that and the guy seems like he's open Push Kyler Murray over there real quick. Just move him over there, right? Because that's what he's gonna try to do or sometimes Kyler can get back there by himself But you see right here how I'm sending the pressure and I'm trying he's uncomfortable. You see what I'm saying? He's running backwards. He's going backwards because I'm sending that heat But if I was in deep zone, he would have ended up with green grass, but now I'm sending pressure. He's uncomfortable, right? See what I'm saying? Now it's 2nd and 57. Now watch this, guys. I want you guys to pay attention to this, right? Now, since it's 2nd and 57, now we can play deep zone. Well, I think he ended up he ended up closing up or quitting the game. Now, that's one game, right? I just wanted to show you guys an example of what I was talking about. See, he quit the game. He closed up. He, I think he turned the system off. I don't know what he did. I just know, for some reason, Madden gave us that loss, by the way, um, which is absolutely BS because we clearly won that game. Um, I'm going to give you guys another game. And another, I'm, I'll give you guys another game because people going to say, well, that's one game. You show this one game no i got two games i want you guys to see what i'm talking about you can you don't want your opponent to be comfortable when playing the yard i'm talking for the people that play the solo head to head just your player you do not want to always stay in zone bro right and sometimes madden will match up against the same opponent so if you guys be playing this because i it's happening multiple times don't match against the same guys sometimes and i win this game and i lose this game that's expected because if you're playing the same person over and over again and just a random matchup eventually they're gonna they're gonna figure out what you like to do on offense and defense so don't even worry about that you're not gonna win every single game guys i mean but this is just the start of what you want to focus on that little playing everybody back it's too much open space. It's too much. It's too much open field. Like if somebody did, y'all saw what I did when they, when he did that to me, and I got all of the space. Jump cut all the way up through the middle. I got pick up what thirty some yards, right? Again, we're gonna show you guys another game, another game, a different opponent, right? Show you guys once again because I want to help you guys out. 
like I said, we got a lot of content that I need to drop out there for you. This guy, this video is one of them that I need to get out there because I want you guys to understand. I know there's a lot of players out there that I don't have nobody really to play with on the yard. And um, they just play with their own character and they be struggling. So trust me, I know. Again, we playing two deep zone right here. Let's see what he's going to do, right? Gonna take. You see all that space he got? Y'all see all that space? But for some reason, we, we were able to make that tap. So now it's second and 23, right? And I like to come out in a too deep zone because I don't want to just come out to play and say, oh, I'm going to just send a whole lot of blitz. Because that, you don't want to just give off what you're going to do, right? So right here, I'm playing another too deep zone. But you see all of the green grass. You see how many yards he's picking up? He just picked up, like, what, uh, 14, 13, 11 yards right there. So now it's third and 11 for him, right? Now, now I'm sending heat. Now I'm going to move Kyler right here. You see, I'm going to move Kyler in case you want to put him on a deep route. I'm sending pressure. He was able to escape from that. He picked up what? 20, 30 yards on that. So now it's first and seven. I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm talking about. The whole point on defense, you don't want, don't let them get in the end zone. That's the whole point, right? Again, I'm gonna put Kyler over here. I'm not, I'm not sending nobody. So now you can't do that. But again, he was still able to get, um, who was that? Dalvin Cook on that play right there and Kyler. I, and why does Madden give us these? I wish we were able to select some of the players we would get because I'm tired of playing with, um, Kittle and, uh, um, Aaron Donald and the rest of these guys right here. I thought that was a pick y'all saw I was using or not But again the way how Madden works this year is you're not able to change the way you can't just sit under the route And I'm gonna just baiting and jumping you got to be there, right? So now again keep him out the end zone guys now. We're sending pressure. We send in pressure guys He can't get in there third and goal guys We stand in pressure and the thing about it is when you get to the goal line the field is much more shorter so now it's not as easy. It's not, oh, you got all of that open space. No, if I'm sending heat, you got to make a decision, right? Again, we sending that pressure, guys. He don't know what to do with it. He don't know what to do with it. It's fourth, it's fourth and goal. Guess what we doing, guys? Guess what? We coming again. Pause. We sending all of the pressure once again. Guess what? I'm coming. We coming. Watch this, bro. We coming. Pause. You know what I'm saying? He don't got no, nothing to do with it. Again, keep him out the end zone. Keep him out of the end zone. When we send that pressure, he's uncomfortable. He don't know what to do with it. Now we're back on offense again. We're going to take what the defense is going to give us. I thought he was going to because he called a timeout. Again, we're on offense. We're going to take what the defense gives us. One, that's what you want to do, bro. That's what you want to do. Right here, he's doubling my guy. So guess what? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, to, I'm gonna go to Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, down the sideline. You know what I'm saying? I got a blocker. I get, I get popped right there. I just get hit by him. First and nine. You see how many guys just picked up right there because he was double teaming my guy? You know what I'm saying? You, you, don't, you just want to give the defense. You, you want to take what the defense is going to give you, bro. That's what you want to do, bro. First and nine, right? I think I got my guy the ball right here. I told you, when I get the open field, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Look, open field got him shook. Thought that was a first down. And it's still a first down. First and goal. That was a bad spot, by the way, but they gave me the first down. But, um, again, you guys see what we're doing, though, right? We're not going down the field trying to go crazy, get these crazy highlights automatically. No, we're going to take defense. No, right here, watch this, right? Boom, I fumble the ball. He gets the ball back, right? I told you guys, not everything is going to go in your favor. Sometimes they're going to make you fumble this, this, and that. And that's why I said I don't like how they force us to play with the same players every matchup. I really wish, like, they would switch it up and, like, give us a, a role of players like Jamar Chase or other players like that or a Cooper Cup or something like that, bro. But anyways, y'all see this? When I'm, when I'm all that open space he got, y'all see all that open space he got? I, I'm keep doing this because I want to show you guys when you play zone, that is what's going to happen to you. They're going to have all of the room in the world to, to just do whatever they want. But when we send that pressure, when we send that pressure, guys, when we send that pressure, he's uncomfortable. It's 3rd and 17. When we send that pressure, he don't know what to do. He's clueless to know what to do. He's, they panic. When you send pressure, they panic. It's like when you, it's like in the NFL. When you send pressure to quarterbacks, they start to panic. they uncomfortable. Again, guys, we send that pressure. You know what I'm saying? He's uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what you really want to work. That's what you guys want to work on. And again, so this video for my guys that play one on one. They just had to head. Fourth and twenty two. He can't get it. Now we get the ball back. Now we gotta get in the end zone because the last center made us fumble the ball. So now, again, what do we say, guys? What do we want to do? We want to take what the defense gives us, right? Now again, I'm going to back to the same play. Because I feel like if I can get this this play again, it's over with, right? I get up, open the field. He goes for his stick. I'm down the sideline. I'm down the sideline, guys. I break a tackle. I told you, this build is OBJ 2.0, right? 5'11", a, a beast in the slot, bro. It's just tough to guard. Um, and especially if you know how to stick work like that, you can be very dangerous on this build. I'm not going to lie. 
right here. I got my I got my badge. Does that mean I'm gonna go down the field like that and take over like that? No. I'm gonna take what the defense gonna give me. Because again, he's double t he's daring me to go to my guy right there because he has double coverage over there. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take and go to Jalen Ramsey. Every time we pick up again on what 15 yards, we got first and goal now. Now, guys, when we're at first and goal, now we can go to our guy. Because now the field is much more shorter to where he can't really double team me like that right there. He's gotta really now make a decision, say, if I double if I double team him, somebody's gonna be open regardless, right? Again, that's what I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go right back to Jalen Ramsey, guys. You gonna keep doubling, now I'm at the one yard line. Now, like I said, when you when the field is shorter, now you can go to your guy because I'm gonna just go down to a slant. Watch this. Easy slant play, but he's playing the middle. Playing the middle. Guess what? Ramsey, wide open. Take what, take what the defense is going to give you guys. I told you guys that, bro. You see what I'm saying? Now we're going for two, right? Now we're going for two. Let's see what it is right here again. Take what the defense is going to give you, right? He's doubling my guy again. Go to Kittle. Watch Kittle. Got in there. You see what I'm saying? Because he's playing back. He's playing back. He's giving me all that room to work with. And that's all I'm saying is... When you guys are in this yard and you're playing just with your own character, you don't want to play zone like that because it's too much space, right? Again, I'm sending that pressure. He don't got nowhere to go. Second and 20 on the first play. Guess what we doing, guys? Guess what we doing? We coming again. We sending that pressure again. You know what I'm saying? We're sending that pressure again. He got that play. That's cool. Like I said, it's not gonna work every time, but most of the time it's gonna work. You gonna look it. are not gonna like, it keeps you out of the end zone for sure. Watch this. Watch this right here, right? What'd I tell you? You see what I'm saying? When all that time when I was sending that pressure to him, it was making him uncomfortable. He has to make a decision. He can't just do the short play and get the 15-yard gain. He got to make a decision now that I was sending the pressure. So he was trying to switch it up, and he got caught in it, right? Now watch this. Jump cut. I'm gone. I'm gone, guys. I'm gone. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I told you guys. I'm trying to help you guys. Um, That's going to do it for this video. I love you guys. Um, If you have any, if you got any questions, feel free to put any comments in the video. And we out. Jamin signing out. I told you guys I got you with the help. He's out of here. That's a dub. That's a W vid, man. I got you guys with the help. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do.